By now, you've heard the term herd immunity, and that's when a not large part of a, a population of a community has been exposed to an infection to where the community as a whole is largely protected. And now researchers at Stanford University are trying to find out how many Californians may already have an immunity uh, towards COVID-19. And Circle of Health reported that Easton Door tells us that what they find out may go a long way in helping to flatten the curve here in California. Compared to California, New York has seen 14 times as many deaths in a state that has a population half our size. Something is going on that we haven't quite found out yet. Victor Davis Hansen with Stanford's Hoover Institute says physical distancing is playing a role, but it doesn't explain California's lower than expected numbers. He thinks it's possible COVID-19 arrived undetected in California as early as the fall, when airports were still accepting international travelers and when doctors reported an unusually early flu season. It would be naive not to think that the California population wasn't exposed. Hansen argues some of our population were already exposed to COVID-19, which could have led to some herd immunity. To find out, Stanford researchers are testing people for COVID-19 antibodies. We want to use these tests responsibly. You can use them in a number of different ways to get an understanding of community prevalence. This finger stick serology test, also being offered at Hollywood Urgent Care, can tell in minutes if a person has developed these antibodies. This test will tell you if you had it or not. It's basically checking your titer, like when you check your titer for varicella or MMR. Knowing who has immunity can help get people back to jobs, but for those without immunity, it could be a while. Ultimately, ultimately, the answer is going to be a vaccine. Dr. Anthony Fauci with NIH says dozens of vaccine makers are in the race of their lives. San Diego-based Enovio has been hard at work since January. We're asking 40 volunteers to come and we'll give them the vaccine. If it's safe, the hope is to test the vaccine on a million more people by the end of this year. My entire career, I've never felt the kind of pressure. There's a lot riding on it. Mathematical models based on China's outbreak suggest if lockdowns across the globe are completely lifted, a second wave of illness could come flooding in unless a vaccine is found. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.